This is Gaius Marius, who was elected consul in 107 BC after being a rich equestrian, who was also a popularized leader. He led his legions into battle against King Jugurtha of North Africa, capturing the king with the help of Sulla. Afterwards, he defeated German tribes, the Kimbri and Tiungas, that threatened Rome's northern borders. After these victories, he returned to Rome in triumph, and the Senate thought to give him his soldiers the choice lands in Gaul. He took Rome by force and assumed a military dictatorship. Marius' chief enemy was someone who worked for him, Sulla. Sulla was elected consul in 88 BC after obtaining support from leading Athenopolis. Sulla was sent to punish King Mithridates of Pontus, who massacred thousands of Romans. However, Marius took the command away from Sulla during his reign of terror. Sulla then unexpectedly captured Rome with his army and drove Marius into exile. Afterwards, Marius gathered an army, seized Rome, and was elected to his seventh consulship, during which he died. Sulla then returned victorious to Italy, instituted his own reign of terror, and eliminated his enemies by force fraction. In the forum, Marius posted a list of his enemies and wealthy equestrians whose estates might increase the bonus he had promised his troops. The Senate then granted Sulla the title Dictator for Stabilizing the Constitution. After eliminating his op opposition, he set policies that ensured the Optimates who supported him would have firm control over the government. Sulla created reforms that returned power to his supporters. Sulla died after retiring from his dictatorship in 78 BC.